On the streets of Hong Kong, we ask a simple question. Do you support or not support Article 23? Mm, I have no idea. <laughs> no idea? Yeah, no, I mean, how you? Yes or no? Yeah, no, I have to go. Okay. I'm really sorry. We ask in English. We ask in Cantonese. No comment. Article 23 is Hong Kong's controversial new homegrown security legislation. It includes a range of new national security crimes, including treason, espionage, external interference, and disclosure of state secrets. It carries sentences of 10 years for crimes linked to state secrets and sedition, 20 years for espionage, and up to life in prison for treason, insurrection, sabotage, and mutiny. Officials point out that many Western countries have similar legislation and say it will fill loopholes in the sweeping national security law imposed by Beijing in 2020 after mass anti-government protests. We still have to watch out for potential sabotage, undercurrents that try to create troubles. In 2003, Article 23 was shelved after an attempt to enact it drew half a million residents onto the streets in protest. No such scenes of opposition are expected this time around. Beijing's national security crackdown has transformed Hong Kong. Dozens of political opponents have been arrested, civil society groups disbanded, and outspoken media outlets shut down. Former opposition lawmaker Emily Lau was among the protesters in 2003 She's no longer marching, but has a message for Beijing. I just want to tell Beijing there's no need for such stern treatment. I don't think Hong Kong will go back to the turbulent past. And I think people want to look forward to a safe and a peaceful and free future. We want Hong Kong to prosper. We are part of China. I've never disputed that, but we are different from the rest of China, but the difference is getting less and less, which is very sad. Critics say the law could have deep ramifications for the city's status as a global business hub. The U.S. State Department says it is concerned by the, quote, broad and vague definitions of state secrets and external interference that could be used to eliminate dissent through the fear of arrest and detention. The Hong Kong government rejects that criticism as biased and misleading with Security Secretary Chris Tang pointing out there is strong public support. But on the streets, it's hard to tell. Christy Lu Stout, CNN, Hong Kong.